What is up y'all? And I have taken out the corner pieces because I'm getting ready to put electrical in here. I think we're gonna run our adapter through here for the 30 amp um, right here. And then I'm gonna put my fuse block, fuse box, fuse panel right here. I think that'll be a okay jump over. Um, I don't wanna really wanna put it here because the toilet and stuff's gonna start right here. So I want all my electrical back here and enough room for the, um, for the batteries later. Okay, we got all the wiring in for the lights. Back here, we're gonna have a row right here that's all connected. We have a light, two lights there, two lights here, recessed, uh, more recessed lighting in the bathroom, one in the bathroom and one in the shower. And uh, we're also gonna run uh, one for a fan, but exhaust fan, but we're not gonna do that yet. Uh, and then we have the one light above the door right here. So that one's ran down that way. We have everything ran to the DC fuse box. Everything's from Amazon, by the way. <laughs> um, and then I got the AC box mounted. I still have to put the adapter, the 30 amp adapter through the wall. So the 30 amp connector, uh, I'm gonna drill that either here in a little bit or tomorrow. I'm trying to get the ceiling up in this thing. So now that I got all the lights ran for the recessed lighting, um, we're ready to start putting the ceiling up. You can see how this all came together quite nicely. ran everything to this side for the bathroom and the two row lights the two rows of lights and then I ran the other one on the other side so then I kind of bundled these together just to make them more a little more stable I guess less of a mess I just kind of clean it up a little bit I was going to use zip ties but this looks a little cleaner I think and then everything's just kind of hanging here so one thing I did that I would recommend is to label them as you go so this one says uh, shower, so that's the one above the shower. Um, this one says uh, row two of lights, so that's the back row of lights. This one's the bathroom. So that one is the one, the light over the toilet. And the light in the bathroom. And that one goes to the other side. So I'll put a label on that one saying that's the light near the door. All right, so next thing is to get the ceiling up. Uh, I'm gonna put it lengthways and I want it to meet right in the middle. So I'm gonna want it to meet right in the middle of the trailer, uh, pieces here and pieces here. So it's gonna make for some long cuts, but I think I can pull it off. It's already really late and uh, the neighbors already love me for all the noise. So we're gonna save the sawing until, uh, until in the morning. Right now, what we're gonna do tonight instead of doing the ceiling is to put the 30 amp service right here. Um, I was going to put it where the sticker was, but that would leave it like really low on the wall, maybe here. So I think above the sticker is right in here somewhere. So I think that'll be better. This is going to be interesting because it's only an inch deep, but I got a Harbor Freight kit for the hole saw and I got one on the drill that fits this just perfect. So I'm going to fix the back of that exactly. So that should be what we need. And uh, I'm pretty excited. So I guess let's go drill a hole in the side of the trailer all right well it's coming along quite nicely i got through the i got a clean cut on the outside clean cut on the insulation and i'm working on the wood now all right guys we're all the way through the hole actually came out pretty good for a harbor freight little 16 dollars set let's get this 30 amp service plug put in we're gonna have power very good all right so i'm using uh 10 to uh with the ground uh from the plug to the breaker box and then from the breaker box out we'll use uh 12 2 but uh, i'm using 10 2 there so let's get that cord and get this hooked up it looks perfect it looks like it was meant to be there and we now have 30 amp service all right so back inside you can see the great connection i used the wood screws that way we just secured a little better hole was perfect size and now we just need to take this over to the box. We're gonna wire some AC power in here. Got it ran with some 10-3, some 10-2 with a ground. So 10-3, if you go to Home Depot, they don't know what 10-2 with a ground is. <laughs> so just get 10-3 and obviously I got this just because it's a little better with vibrations and stuff than the, the hard house stuff. This is stranded. This is stranded wire. So we're gonna back feed 
into the panel on the 30 amp breaker to make a main so that'll feed the panel from the source and then uh, and then we're gonna run a 20 for the AC refrigerator and then a 15 um, over here for some outlets so that's where we're gonna start and let's see if we can get it going here uh, I'll get back to you after we get this uh, main breaker hooked up all right we got the power to the box and this is the way you do it through a main relay um, main black wire comes into the uh, the breaker and then that'll power up this board you run the jumper like you would anyway to get the single phase out of both blocks uh, ground to the ground bus and white to the neutral bus so now it is time to put a plug here well it almost looks like i know what i'm doing so we got the receptacle in nice and tight i got the wire strip ready for that uh, they actually go up to there i'm gonna get a little hold wire holder thing here and secure that right there so it doesn't vibrate got this mounted in and we're gonna run the wires uh, up into the uh, breaker box oh yeah we got power in the trailer and my thumb was in the way son of a bitch <laughs> I'm gonna do this again. Oh yeah, we got power in the trailer. I'm gonna do the ceiling and just made the first cut, the first cut on the first board on the ceiling. So I'm gonna mark where the lights, the first lights go and then we're gonna get this piece up. Bam. Peanut butter and jam! What the f are you doing, Phil? Look at that ceiling. We got the ceiling going in. Uh, there's a couple more screws I need to put in after I get the other two pieces in. I'm cutting those right now. And uh, then we'll get the lights in. All the light holes kind of, they all um, lined up. So everything came out pretty good. Let's get these other two pieces cut and get the rest of the ceiling in. Look at that ceiling. It looks absolutely sick. It looks so good, look at this. <laughs> super excited, super excited. So, uh, hell yeah, I'm gonna get some lights wired up here, see if we can get some lights working. All right guys, we're getting back to the lights in the ceiling. These are all DC. So the lights that I have, um, just the round, slim LEDs. Um, be careful when you order these, They're four inches and they're four and three quarter inches diameter but the hole that they want is 4.13 so it's not four and a quarter it's not four it's 4.13 so I had to do some filing I did a four inch hole saw and then did some filing um, and they're three quarters of an inch depth so this is an inch thick insulation so we gotta kind of give ourselves some room here now what I did was I made a cut with my knife all the way around and then I made some cuts here. I set the depth of my knife so it doesn't go too deep. Super easy. Bring it up, set the depth so it doesn't, it cannot go into your ceiling or into the roof because you don't want to cut the roof. Um, so I made a cut around. I made a couple cuts this way and a couple cuts this way. And then you can take any kind of screwdriver or anything. I got this tool. I think it's for windshields, but I'm not sure. Anyway, this fit right in here, and I just popped it sideways. And this insulation just kind of popped out. Guys, we got the first light in. You ready? Yeah! We have DC light. All right, only five more to go. I'm just testing these with a little motorcycle battery. It's nothing, but it works. It's 12 volt, so after I get them all in, we're gonna wire them to the box, so that'll be fun. Before I put these last two up, I just wanted to show you how I'm doing the tandem lights. This row and this row are both together. So you hit one switch and both of these come up. So I only ran one wire, as you can see right here. It goes over, ties into this one, jumps over, ties into that one. And then they just clip up in there. Yeah, yeah! Got the lights in! Looks so good! The two up there in that left corner up there will be in the bathroom. These are on a switch, these are on a switch, and then that one is by itself, by the door here. So when you come in and hit the first switch, that's kind of your light. It's 
kind of your go-to light. So the switches should be here tomorrow. Build a little cabinet, put the switches in, uh, kind of build out the wall for the bathroom a little bit so I can mount the switches in there as well. So probably tomorrow, what we're gonna get the trim, uh, trim this out and then put the vent back on, the vent trim back on. And then uh, we'll get some two by twos from the store and start framing out some walls. Maybe some two by threes, I haven't decided yet, so. All right, see you then.